Hello students and welcome back to class. Today's lecture is focused on guest assist and it will be a rather short lecture since guest assist isn't too complicated of a system to understand, but there's still some important concepts that you need to know about. At the end of this lecture, I will also be providing you with a way that you can add me as a guest assist. So make sure you watch until the end if you want to have access to a very powerful friend. So what exactly is guest assist? Many gacha games have a system where you can borrow the cards of your friends or just random players in general. For all stars, while we can't actually use our friends' cards, what we can use are the cards' abilities. Every time you select a song in free play mode, you'll be prompted with the guest assist screen. This will show a list of all your friends as well as a list of random players. It's possible to take a look at the card that you want to use by tapping on the cards icon and then it will show you this screen displaying the abilities as well as the insight skills for that card. Everything on the left side of this screen is rather meaningless because the only benefits you'll be getting are the stuff on the right, which is the abilities as well as the insight skills if that particular player is your friend. Last thing to mention is that there is a cooldown associated with using a friend. Once you use a friend, you cannot use the same friend as a guest again until 4 hours have passed. This cooldown doesn't seem to be present for non-friends though, so you could use the same random player multiple times. If you've selected a friend as a guest assist, but you don't get the particular outcome you want, there is a way you can preserve the use of that friend. What you have to do is force quit the app so that you can return to the title screen of the game. And once you do that, you quit the live show that you're currently in. By doing these steps, you'll be allowed to use the same friend once again, so this is a good method to use when trying to get a high score. If you only have a few good friends, make sure you use them wisely, otherwise you'll have to wait 4 hours before you can use them again. The process of using your friend's card is called Skill Inheritance. That's not the official name, but that's a commonly used name for gacha games, so I think it's rather appropriate here as well. When you inherit the skills of a guest, the Formation Center card is the one that gets the passive ability and the show ability of the chosen guest card. If the guest card also belongs to your friend, then your Formation Center card will also get the insight skills. So the major benefit of having friends is to also inherit the insight skills for their cards. If your friends have good guest assist cards and those guest assist cards also have good insight skills, that can make a huge difference when you're trying to get a high score. Through the use of skill inheritance, it is possible for a single single card to have up to 4 abilities and 8 insight skills for the duration of the song. The next topic is the skill inheritance properties, and this is something that a lot of players don't know about. When skills are inherited from a guest, the card effect targets are now based on the formation center card and not the guest card. For example, I'm picking this Katori as a guest assist. This Katori has a passive ability that increases the base technique by 4.6%, and it applies to cards of the same attribute. If you were to put this Katori on a show formation, it would mean that all elegant attribute cards would have their base technique increased by 4.6%. However, by using this Katori as a guest assist, then the passive ability gets inherited to the center position card of the show formation. Here the show formation center is I, and I is natural attribute. So instead of elegant attribute cards getting the benefit of Katori's passive, I inherited Katori's passive ability, so now it's based on the properties of I, and since I is natural attribute, it means that all the natural attribute cards on the show formation get the 4.6% technique boost. Last thing to note is that in the particular song that I chose for this example, Natsuhiro Egao De One Two Jump, the formation center card is not the song center card. The formation center is always the one in the center position. The song center is the one that has the center banner on the top. So you can see here that Festival Karin is actually the song center, and she will be the one that gets bonus bond points. But I is the one that is the formation center, and that's the card that is inheriting the benefits from the guest assist. There's also one more interesting thing about inherited show abilities, and that's a built-in cooldown associated with them. For inherited show abilities, once they activate, they cannot activate again until 30 notes have passed. This was K-Lab's solution to essentially nerf the SR cheerleader Kanan, who was being used as a guest assist to inherit onto very powerful cards. If you're interested on that particular topic, go watch my top 10 SR cards video where I talk about how that Kanan was abused before K-Lab nerfed how guest assists work with show abilities. 
Now that we finished talking about the guest assist mechanics, let's talk about how to actually assist other players. In order to do this, you need to set your guest assist cards from the profile menu. And once you get to the profile, the second tab down below is the guests. And this allows you to pick up to seven different cards for your guest assist. Even though you might think that it's logical to pick a particular guest assist card that matches the particular attribute, it actually doesn't matter for the reason we discussed earlier about skill inheritance properties. The only thing that matters for a guest assist card are their abilities. It doesn't matter whether or not the card does match the particular attribute you're choosing. Another important thing to mention is that you should not pick the same card seven times. Even if you only have one good card to use as a guest assist, you should pick seven different cards regardless. And the reason for that is because of how the game shows filters. If you pick the same card seven times, and then you filter your guests based on certain criteria, then that same card will show up seven times. And that is something that really makes people mad. If they're trying to look for different guest assists, and they see your guest assist seven times, well they might just remove you from their friends list because they don't want to deal with that. On this account appropriately named Bad, they chose Ruby as their guest assist card seven times, so before I actually see another person's guest assist, I have to scroll down past seven instances of the same person. If you want to make a lot of friends in this game, make sure you do not pick the same card over and over again. Pick seven different cards, even if you only have one good guest assist card. Lastly, we can talk about what kind of guest assist skills are desirable. So these are just my personal recommendations of things that people would be looking for. And for the passive ability, as you would expect, it's just boosting the appeal of your cards. Big appeal number means big voltage number. Boosting appeal is never a bad thing. For the show abilities, also the same thing. There's plenty of show abilities that increase appeal, but the ones that are the most desirable are the ones that increase base appeal for the entire song. An alternative show ability that people might be looking for are cleansing abilities because they don't have any cards that can do that, in which case that's also a desirable card to put on a guest assist. If the goal is to get as high of a score as possible, then in the worldwide version, these five cards are the ones that are the most desirable to use. Miracle Voyage Shizuku, Vegetable Wonderland Rina, Fantastic Clown Ruby, Blue Amar, Umi, and Royal Princess Mari. Shizuku and Rina are the best guest assists to use if you're not friends with the particular player. That's because their show ability only applies to the same strategy, but also has a 50% activation rate compared to the 30% activation rate that applies to all cards on the show formation. On the other hand, if you are friends with a particular player, then Festival Mari is the most desirable one to use because you'll have access to four insight skills, assuming that the player knows what they're doing and their cards do have good insight skills. This image here just shows my particular Mari that you'll have access to if you do decide to make me your friend. That will conclude today's lecture. For your homework, I want you to set up your guest assists and then send me a friend request. I would be glad to add any of my students to my friend list and in order for me to know that you're actually a student, in your profile message, you should include this hashtag, hashtag I read the book. That way I know that you're a student of mine. I would also encourage you to post your player ID in the comments of this video, advertising yourself as a potential friend for other people. In case you need more friends or you want to help out other players, just tell us what kind of cards you can offer as a guest assist so that hopefully you can get a lot of requests with useful cards as well. Even though there's no inherent benefit to helping other players by offering good guest assists, it will be easier for you to access good guest assist as well. For reference, here are the seven cards that I think are the most desirable guest assists for people to look for. If you have one of these cards, it will be great if you could set it as your guest assist. If you only have one of these cards, then put it in one of the slots and then fill the other six slots with different cards. This is the last time I'm gonna say this, but if you pick the same card seven times, you're gonna make all your friends mad and they'll probably remove you from their list. So don't do that. Anyway, it doesn't matter what card cards you do have for guest assist, I'll add you regardless. I just want to help my students. In case they need an additional source of appeal boosting, you can definitely look for my Mari and hopefully she can carry you through one of the higher difficulty songs. But it would be great if you did have one of these guest assists that I could use as well. Also, if your guest assists don't have good insight skills, that's alright. But on the topic of insight skills, that is what we'll be talking about in tomorrow's lecture. So hopefully by the end of that lecture, you'll be able to start getting some good insight skills of your own to provide for your friends. Thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.